we will get started in child's pose alasan face the short end of the mat sit heavy on those heels and widen out the knees as wide as the mat so some of us might feel sensitivity around our ankles you can always slide a blanket underneath while keeping the hips close to the heels we will begin to walk our hands out towards the top of the mat i like to keep my hands as wide as the mat it gives space to my shoulders you can always bring your arms closer to each other you can have them parallel forehead resting on the mat or a block wherever you are we are going to start with three rounds of cleansing breaths so we'll inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth inhale deeply and sigh it out two more just like that last one let it all go let's take few moments in our child pose begin to deepen your breath inhaling and exhaling through the nose and if ujjayi breath is in your practice you can begin to activate it now really using the breath to arrive in your practice connecting with the present moment leaving all our to-do lists our worries behind us committing to the practice for the next few minutes on the next inhale lift the forehead and walk your hands over towards the right side of the mat left fingers towards the right corner of the mat root down through the left hip and feel a stretch in your left side body one more breath walking hands over to the other side and if your forehead can't quite get to the mat don't force it you can just keep it lifted ears in line with your biceps and if you have a block slide it under your forehead rooting down through the right hip this time feeling the stretch in our right side body spend another breath here and then lifting the forehead walking the hands back center we'll all meet in table top hands and knees spread out the fingers and then curl the toes here knees under our hips wrist under shoulders shake out the hips side to side just for a bit we'll start with few rounds of cow and cat on the inhale drop the belly chest gaze forward next inhale round the spine tuck the tailbone under flow in your cow cat for next few breaths make this your own inhale we drop the belly we feel the stretch in the front body draw those shoulder blades towards each other and on the exhale move the shoulder blades away creating space in the back body let's take one more round inhaling and exhaling come back to neutral table we will take few rounds of thread the needle so bring the left hand in the middle of the mat right arm reaches up inhale 
I like to keep my elbows bent. Exhale, soften through the left elbow and tap the outside of your left ribs. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist. Last one this time, we will thread the needle. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, either come all the way down on your forehead or you can turn the head towards the left side if the neck allows. Feeling that stretch in our right shoulder. Two more breaths. On the next breath, press yourself up. Other side. This time, bringing the right palm in the middle of the mat. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale, twist and tap. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And this time, thread the needle. Come all the way down on your left shoulder. I'm feeling really passive here, so no holding. Another breath. And press the right palm into the earth. Bring yourself back into your table and then into downward facing dog. So lift the knees and send your hips up and back. Probably have to walk the feet back a little to find your down dog. Keep a generous bend in your knees and then begin to pedal out the legs. Feel free to invite any other movement in your down dog. Maybe we sway the hips side to side as we pedal. Another breath. Finding center. Pressing the palms away from the earth, externally rotating those biceps. Ears in line with biceps. And then arching the spine, that anterior tilt we're looking for here. Sending the sits bone up towards the sky. Knees are bent, but we're trying to push those heels towards the earth to feel stretch in your calves. Take one more breath. And then lower the knees down. If you have sensitive knees, go ahead and slide a blanket and your knees in the middle of the mat and we will come into a lizard pose so bring hands out in front of you and step the right foot outside the right palm all the way towards the right edge of the mat you can even lift the left knee and take it towards the left edge of the mat uncurl the left toes pause here take a moment to feel stretch in your left psoas the front of the left thigh and then begin to make some hip circles here. Doesn't matter which direction you're going, we'll go both ways. And switch. Last one. And then pause here. turning the right toes by a 30 degree angle and then lift the inner arch of the right foot. Bring that left palm under the left shoulder and then twist the chest towards the right side. You can even look up towards the ceiling. These are all options. We do what works for us. You have the option of taking a bind so if you're able to grab your left foot, go ahead and grab it. 
getting a nice deep stretch into your left quad. Another breath. Release the foot, come back into your blizzard, bring both palms inside the right foot, lift the left knee, tuck the tailbone under, we will go into our plank pose. First plank, just a little bit toning for our front body, our core. Pushing the earth away, tucking the tailbone under, lifting through our kneecaps, heels press back in space. So really think of your cat back here. Another breath. And then lower the knees down. We will come into our lizard on the other side. So right knee moves a little to the right side of the mat. Left foot towards the left edge. Take a moment to really feel the stretch. Make sure that your left knee is above the left ankle. If not, you need to crawl it forward. Or if you walk the foot too far out, you want to bring it back. And then begin those hip circles. Four in each direction. Once you're done going one direction, just switch it. And then we'll go into our dragon pose. Bring that right palm under the right shoulder. Angle the left foot, lift the inner arch of the left foot. And then twist here. So use that left hand to press into that left inner thigh to go deeper into the stretch. Option to bind. Maybe turning the chest a little more towards the side. This is a pretty intense stretch. And then slowly release the foot. We'll go back into that plank one more time. So lift the right knee, press the palms away from the earth, and then step the left foot back next to right. Spread the fingers, push the earth away. One more breath. Then make your way into your downward facing dog. If you had a blanket on the mat, move it to the side, clear out the space. And make our way into our forward fold. So bend the knees and slowly take a stroll towards the top of the mat. I like to keep my feet hip width apart. Use stability and even weight in the heels and the bottom arms of the feet. So pressing down through all four corners. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale, flat back. Press those palms into your shins. Exhale, fold. We'll take a ragdoll here. So heel to those feet out. Either the palms can stay on the mat. Or if you feel stable, go ahead and grab your opposite elbows. And really surrendering in this pose, feeling the stretch in the back of the legs. And as you can see, my knees are generously bent. You don't have to keep the legs completely straight. As long as you feel a stretch in your hamstring, you're in the right place. Option two, sway into your ragdoll, side to side. Then come back, center. Lower the hands down and make your way into Malasan. So heels in, toes out. If you're feeling um, a struggle to lower the heels down, slide a blanket under the heels. Or you could always sit on a block. Another breath. 
And then bring the hands by your side, slowly lower the seat down, come in the middle of the mat and then take a modified boat, bring the hands by your side and then lift the feet up. Trying to bring those shins parallel to the mat. Not collapsing in the low spine, do your best to sit nice and tall. Inhale here and on the exhale slowly going to go into your low boat. Pressing that low back into the earth, knees can be bent or you can work towards straight legs. Another breath. Then bend the knees, lower the feet down, lower the head down. We are going to do a couple of stretches on our backs. Again, if you have a blanket handy. You can always slide it under your neck to support it. Hug the knees towards the chest. Knees can be closed, knees can be wide. Hands can press on the shins, hands can be behind the knees. Whatever variation works for you. Wherever you are, rock side to side. Really massaging the low spine, come back center into your Vayu Muktasan. Give yourself a big squeeze. And then we'll go into our happy baby Anand Balasan. So options here, hands can be behind the knees and really push those knees away from you. Shoulder blades grounding towards the mat. You can grab your shins, your ankles. And if you are able to keep the low back grounded, you can even grab the outer edges of the feet. Another breath. And slowly release the feet. Bring the feet as wide as the mat. Hands can come out in Cactus arms and then begin to windshield wiper the knees. This should feel good. Drop the knees over to the left side. Option to turn the head towards the right shoulder. And close down the eyes if that feels okay. Anchoring down through the right shoulder. Lift the knees, bring the head back center and we drop the knees over to the other side. You might want to scoop the hips a little to the left and drop the knees to the right. Again, option to turn the head towards the left. Take another couple of breaths. On the next inhale, head comes back center, lift the knees. Wrap your hands around the shins. Give yourself a nice hug. Option to lift the head, nose to knees, knees to nose. Big inhale. On the exhale, slowly lower the head down, lower the feet down. You can choose to take Shavasan here by extending the legs as wide as the mat. Palms can face up. You can stay here for as long as you like. If you're ready to move on, you can just roll on to any side and come up into a seat. Thank you for letting me lead you through your practice today. Namaste.